I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper on probability distribution. We are working on question number two. It has two different parts. I have actually copied this question here and we will discuss it. The question here is the discrete random variable x can take only the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The probability distribution of x is given below. This is the probability distribution. Part A of this question is determine the value of constants A and B if probability for x to be greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 3 times probability for x less than 2. Part B is determine the probability that the sum of two independent observations of this distribution exceeds 7. Now we did part A in one of our videos. Here is the solution which I am sharing with you. So part A was to find the variables A and B, right? So it is given to us that the probability distribution, the random variable X can have these values 0 to 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And if X is between, if X is 0, 1 or 2, a is the value. So A is the value for 0, 1 and 2. B is the value for 3, 4 and 5. Correct? Now we know this condition which says that the probability for X greater than or equal to 2 is equals to 3 times probability for X less than 2. Now that is this demarcation, right? So if X is greater than or equal to 2, it is one of these probability is B. So we write B is equals to 3 times, I rewrote this equation here, 3 times when X is less than 2, that is A. So that means B is equals to 3A, so that is how these two are related. We also know some of these should be 1, that is 3A plus 3B equals to 1, substitute 3A as B. So 4B is 1 over 4 and Putting 1 over 4 here gives us A as 1 over 12, right? So A is 1 over 12. So we get the values for A and B. For part B, we'll actually begin from here now, okay? So let me write down the distribution table from the previous solution and then we'll once again talk about it here, okay? And then continue with the part B of this question. So what we have here is The random variable x can have values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, right? And the probabilities for these are A, A, A or B, B, B. That is from this condition. A for 0, 1 and 2, B for 3, 4 and 5. And in the previous video, from the given condition, we got the equation that B equals to 3A and from this we have the condition that 3A plus 3B should be equal to 1. 3A is B so we could write this as B plus 3B equals to 1 or 4B equals to 1 and that gave us the value of B as equal to 1 over 4. Now B is 1 over 4 so what is 3? What is A? A is one third of one over four, right? One third of B. So A is one over twelve. Is that okay? So we found these values. Description is there in the videos which I have shown just now. So what I will do here is, in fact, uh, let me just write these values in the probability distribution table, right? So here we'll write A as one over twelve these are 1 over 12s, right? And B's are 1 over 4, correct? 1 over 4. I mean, 1 over 4, correct? So that is their probability. Now let's look into part B, which says, determine the probability that the sum of two independent observations of this distribution exceeds 7. 
right? So, so what combination could exceed seven? So these are independent. That means we can multiply their probabilities, right? So one combination could be three and five. Is that okay? So we could have x value as uh, as three or five. Is that okay? So that is one combination. And the other combination is we could have four and five. So three plus five is eight, four plus five is nine. So those are the two combinations. So it says determine the probability that the sum of two independent observations of this distribution exceeds seven. So probability will be probability of this and this, right? So, so and means intersection. Let's say write like this. Okay, so so we could write this as, uh, or let me write this as uh, probability of three intersection five, right? Plus probability for four intersection five. Is it okay? Now, since they are independent events we could multiply them correct so we could multiply these probabilities so it is 1 over 4 times this is also 1 over 4 plus 4 and 5 will be 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 correct so that gives you 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16 or 2 over 16 right 2 over 16 or 1 8 so the answer is probability is 1 over 8, right? So that is how we can actually answer this question. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.